So this is clearly a matter of self-confidence. And self-confidence always essentially is about identification. No, you have to follow your intuition. Wow, you know, that's very personal, it seems. But actually intuition is not personal at all. It's actually the opposite of it. It is what comes when you are silent. And then, yeah, there's a trust needed. But this trust, it is not actually a trust in you. It is not about can you do it. It's more about like, can you not do it? <laughs> can you stay out of it? Can you just let it happen? No? I love Drupad. I sing a little bit myself, although I never had any formal teaching. And I understand what you mean. No? Do you go up? Do you go down? And all that. No? It's... Uh, it's maybe easier for me because I never had any formal training, so I don't really have any rules in my mind or anything like rational, which might at the same time also affect my ability to just let it flow. You know? But so very essentially, when you sit there with your teacher and he asks you to do this, you have to like say to yourself, this is not about me. This is just about the music. This is just about the source, the cosmic like intellect from where all these things come. And I just have to allow it to happen and, and flow with it. And a lot has to do with how you listen. Because when we sing, and especially when we are a little bit uncertain, we tend to too much evaluate whatever came out of our mouths. We're like, was that good? Was that not good? And that again puts us in the wrong place. So, there is a class actually on YouTube. It's called The Sound of Silence, which is about a meditation technique that involves like listening to the silence and things like that. But where I also explain in a much like a more evolved way how this technique can be used also for creating art and music and especially with music it means you are singing and of course your ears are hearing whatever is coming out but your focus is not there your focus is in the silence which is the background of all sound you know all sound comes like in an empty cave mm -hmm. But if you sit in an empty cave and there's no sound at all, you still hear the silence. You know? so this is something, using this video, maybe you can a little bit exercise for yourself. How to listen to that silence, even if sound is there. And then at some point, even if you are singing, your focus is not there. And, and this is just one way to do that. You know? To not listen to whatever comes out. You're still hearing it, you're still following it in a way, but you're not evaluating it in any way. And so then it just comes. And some people will do it by maybe at that point focusing on the deity related to the song. Now, often in these songs there is some chanting for Ram or, you know, whatever. And then, you know, your main focus is Ram. So the exercise is to forget about yourself. And then, you know, it will just come out. And it also doesn't matter, especially not with such a gentle teacher, as you say. If one moment it goes a little bit wrong, you just continue. You know? And to my experience with Drupad singing, you know, you have a certain, like, melody going, and then you do something and it feels a little bit like wrong. But there's always a way to repair it. There's always a way to then do something else which kind of counterbalances it and brings everything back into harmony. And so that is then what you do. And again, this is no, about not like getting fixed on that error, so to speak, not even calling it an error, not even feeling it as an error but feeling it as something which came out and which needs maybe 
a response, but it's still perfectly possible to integrate it in, in the whole thing. You know? So it's a, a very advanced exercise, you know? uh, Drupad. You know? uh, it's very different from singing some kind of bhajan or singing something which has a fixed melody. It is really, yeah, intuitive singing. And uh, in my own way, I do that also a lot apart from my little attempts at doing Drupad. Um, but then it's more chanting certain rituals, but they also come, you know, by themselves and, and not in any premeditated way. So it's, it's very similar. So I know that quite a lot. And uh, I have this tendency to then like open my hands, like really being receptive, you no? Know? It's not needed, eh? opening the hands, it's just something which helps me to be in the right mode, you know? to have the right attitude and let it come, rather than doing. You know? So, identification, anyhow, is the topic that comes back here all the time, because in many ways it is the core problem, it is the ego. You know? So forget who you are, forget you are from Austria, that you don't have, you know, like this tradition, uh, forget all that. You are unlimited potential. You know? And just a conduit, we are all actually just channeling somehow the divine in our lives. And you cannot say even we do it wrong, only sometimes we block it. And many people, you could say, most of the time they block it. <laughs> but uh, that is what we are here. And the main way to let that happen is not to have any idea about ourselves. You know? 